Did you call bank? I call game. What's up, Pack Nation? It's Pack Gaming here, and today I'm gonna be doing a what if video. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about what if the players with the most rings in the NBA or the most championships went together into one team and tried to win another ring. Would they succeed or would they fail? And so that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. So here we are in a season so i'll press season and my roster is called rings earner also quick note i uh i now have a playstation pro my playstation who i'd had for like five years died she was so good to me it's okay though i got a new one and it is a playstation pro so apparently this is supposed to be looking better i don't know true don't know and i put them on the boston celtics because the boston celtics have the most championships in the nba if you did not know that so what we do in every video is let's look at our actual team real quick so everyone on this team has at least two championships and are currently in the nba there are four players who already have two championships that are not on this team it is chris bosh because technically he's not in the nba anymore mike miller because he was not good enough to make the list norris cole and benno udre all those players already had two championships but they were not good enough to make the list we'll actually start from the bottom and work our way up to the top first is james michael mcadoo 69 overall has two championships both with the warriors udonis haslam loyal to miami 70 overall with three championships mario chalmers has two championships both with the miami heat manu ginobili has four championships all with the san antonio spurs sean livingston has two championships with the warriors tony parker has four championships with the spurs iggy has two championships as y'all know with the warriors Dwayne wade has three championships with miami bow gasol has two championships with the lakers draymond green has two with the warriors clay thompson two with the warriors steph curry two with the warriors and then finally lebron james only guy with different teams with different championships two with miami and one with cleveland so basically it's the warriors plus lebron james and then like tony and Manu and Dwayne Wade. Our starting lineup is Curry, Clay Thompson, LeBron James, Draymond Green, and Bow Gasol. Our sixth man is Dwayne Wade, Iggy, Tony Parker, Sean Livingston, and Manu. The rest are gonna be reserves, but if we have any injured players, they will play. So we're gonna assimilate the season, simulate the season. And we're gonna simulate usually all the way up to the all-star break to see how well our players do. So we're a little over halfway through the season and I'm actually surprised we're losing so many games. We lost 16 games. I personally believe a team with LeBron James, Curry, Clay, and Pau Gasol with a great bench, they, it'd be pretty hard to beat that team, but they clearly are losing 16 games. They're still number one on the conference and the division apparently, and their chemistry is really good. We've lost to a couple teams. We started off good and then we went on a four game losing streak. We even lost to the Knicks, I don't. Then we lost to the Warriors by a pretty healthy margin and that's without Curry, Klay Thompson or Draymond. And we lost to the freaking Mavericks. But then we started to pick it up getting wins and wins and wins. And now here we are on the All-Star break. Let's see if any of our players made the All-Star team. So yes, Steph Curry makes the All-Star team as an Eastern All-Star, but no LeBron James. Kind of weird. Let's look at our team right now, see what's going on. And that is because LeBron James has a pinched nerve in the back for a couple weeks. The only reason he didn't make the All-Star team. So Curry ends up getting 11 points and 10 assists on the All-Star game. Not too, too bad for him. Now we're going to continue simulating the season and see how well this super team can do and if they can win the NBA championship. I think they can. And surprisingly, none of our players were the number one team in the NBA. Not a single one of our players win MVP. Kind of salty about that. But LeBron James does make all NBA first team. And that's really like the only person to want anything on our team for some reason. And we do end up being number one in the conference. Let's actually look at the conference standings real quick. We ended up being the number one team in the East with the Pistons behind us. Okay. Cleveland still makes the playoffs without LeBron James. Interesting stuff. We'll be playing the New York Knicks who, do, who did beat us this season. And let's look at some player stats. LeBron James led our team with 24 points and nine rebounds with seven assists while Curry had 22 points basically. And then Klay Thompson, Dwayne Wade, Draymond, Pau Gasol, Tony. So everyone was doing their part. Uh, James Michael McAdoo, as you could expect, got only one point a game. Festus Azili is on our team. The only reason that happened is because we only had 14 people for some reason, and so they forced a player. I mean, Festus Azili did win one championship with the Warriors, so I mean, we'll just let it go. We'll let it slide. Our team is completely healthy. Everyone is ready for the playoffs to make a deep run. We ended up with 60 wins, 22 losses on a nine-game winning streak. Our chemistry is on fire. 
We're winning this championship on the first round against the New York Knicks. Let's do it. And we actually don't sweep the Knicks. A gentleman sweep, 4-1. We're going to be playing the Milwaukee Bucks because the Bucks beat Cleveland. So we'll be playing Giannis, who's on a mission to beat us. But what is he going to do against LeBron James? And a absolute sweep of the Milwaukee Bucks as kind of expected. But we now we have to play the Toronto Raptors, who haven't lost anyone on their team because they had no one who won two championships. But it's still going to be a hard team. They were only six seed, apparently, but the Toronto Raptors have great players and technically right now are doing great in the NBA. So let's see what happens. I say it's a gentleman sweep. And I called it your boy, four and one gentleman sweep. We've only lost two games in this playoff so far, but now we're playing OKC with Paul George, Wethel Westbrook, and Carmelo. I actually, I'm calling sweep, believe it or not. What are they gonna do against LeBron James? Curry, Clay, Draymond, this team wins games. They know what it's like. They win championships. Easy money. I'm calling a sweep. We'll simulate a game. So we're not sweeping. OKC wins the first game. Let's see how it is. Okay, so OKC has won both games in Boston. Now I'm scared. Now I'm actually kind of worried. And it was a two-point game. It is three and oh, what happened? How do you look Boston? How do you how do you choke this? Who's who's messing up in the playoffs? LeBron Curry Curry isn't showing up in the finals, huh? So look who isn't showing up for the finals. Our second best player. Interesting. Well, LeBron James can't do it by himself. Let's see if we can come back from this 3-0 deficit. We get swept. How do we get swept by OKC? How do we get swept in the finals? With a team that's won, collectively won at least like 30, what, 39 championships? Oh my gosh. How do we choke that? We choked it. We can't win a championship with a championship winning team. Makes no sense. Well, Russell Westbrook killed us with 25 points per game. <sighs> Finals MVP. Who would have thought, who would have thought that, honestly? Well, guys, what I've learned is that championships means nothing. But that's it for this video, guys. I don't care what 2K says. Honestly, this team would have destroyed anyone this season easily. But what do you guys think? Do you think this team would have won the NBA championship? Leave it in the comments below. Also, if you have any ideas for a what if video, let me know. If you like my channel, please give my channel a sub, and I'll see you guys next time. Did you call back?